Creatine is one of the most widely used supplements for improving sports performance and muscle growth. According to the International Society of Sports Nutrition, Creatine monohydrate is the most effective ergogenic dietary supplement currently accessible to athletes, including weightlifters, boxers, and powerlifters who consume creatine in amounts ranging from 45 to 75 percent. It's a naturally occurring compound. Approximately half of your body's creatine supply of 1 to 2 grams is obtained through your diet, especially protein-rich foods such as red meat, seafood, and milk from animals. However, the amounts are far lower than those seen in synthetically produced creatine supplements. You may also want to know that back in the 1970s, researchers discovered that using creatine supplements might boost athletic performance. Creatine became popular among athletes in the 1990s. The supplement is popular among high school, college, and professional athletes, including football and hockey players, wrestlers, and gymnasts. With all of this being said, there's more to it than pouring some powder into your protein shake or taking it as a pre-workout, you should never put anything into your body unless you know how and when to take it, and whether or not the product is safe. So in today's video, we will take you through the key creatine facts while breaking down what creatine does, and benefits as well as the side effects. Sit back and relax and be prepared to take notes because you may not want to miss this. So first of all, what does creatine do? If you're thinking about using creatine, you first need to understand how it works. There are three basic energy systems in the body, aerobic, anaerobic, and APT phosphagen. To transport and release energy, all of these systems rely on the molecule ATP, adenosine triphosphate. During short bursts of exercise, such as HIT, the ATP phosphagen system is triggered, and your body makes energy, in the form of ATP, from another molecule known as phosphocreatin, PCR. ATP is broken down, and energy is released. PCR is what your body requires to replenish ATP energy levels, but it is limited, which is where creatine supplementation comes in. Creatine helps to improve exercise performance. You will have more energy available due to increased ATP turnover during activity, but you will also have delayed neuromuscular weariness. Essentially, you will feel less tired and be able to go for longer periods of time. Another benefit of taking creatine is that it increases muscle mass and strength. 95% of all creatine is stored in your skeletal muscles, it can help you gain strength and muscle mass. Creatine has been proven to boost muscle growth by pulling water into the muscle, raising IGF-1 levels, which promote muscular development and enhancing performance and recovery. Next, we have fast recovery. Aside from improving performance, 81% of 52 NCAA players identified faster recovery from training as one of the benefits of taking creatine. Keep track of how quickly you recover between sessions once you've reached saturation. You could notice a difference in this region. When it comes to recovery, however, supplementing is merely the tip of the iceberg. There is also the matter of exercise selection, training volume, and programming to consider. So, if you're seeking a program that can assist you in properly recovering so that you may continue to work out hard week after week, click the first link in the description. Lastly, creatine also improves mood and cognitive function. The brain, believe it or not, is one of the most metabolically active tissues in your body. It is always in need of energy. It also appears to rely heavily on creatine for energy. Indeed, when children are born with a creatine deficiency in the brain, substantial consequences for cognitive function and development are typically observed. Creatine supplementation, on the other hand, has been shown to increase brain creatine levels by up to 10% in healthy individuals. And this tends to have a positive effect on how well it performs. Well, taking creatine has some effects. Let's look at them. Creatine alone can cause hair loss but more research may change the findings, so if you're concerned about hair loss and it runs in your family, it's worth considering. Aside from hair loss, the most typically reported creatine side effects include digestive cramps, nausea, stomach discomfort, and diarrhea. Normally, these digestive troubles develop during a loading period, when you consume up to 25 grams of creatine per day to rapidly replenish your muscle creatine reserves, but if you have digestive issues, you don't have to do so. You could fill your muscle creatine reserves by taking 5 grams of creatine for around 4 weeks, and once they're full, they can't get any fuller, so even if you finish a loading phase for 7 days, there's no reason to keep doing it after that. 
Creatine has also been linked to dehydration because it draws water into muscle cells. It's not unusual that if someone starts taking creatine and doesn't drink enough water, dehydration can occur, so drink plenty of water when taking creatine, especially if you want to go through a loading phase, which has the sole benefit of building strength, power, and body weight faster. If you're an athlete looking for a quick physiological boost, finally, you will have more creatine stored in your body. And even if you stop taking creatine, once your muscle creatine reserves have been used up, it usually takes four to six weeks for your creatine stores to be regenerated. In conclusion, it is not recommended to take a daily dose of any supplement without consulting with a healthcare professional first. Supplements can interact with medications and other supplements, and they can also have potential side effects. It is important to discuss any supplement use with a healthcare provider to make sure that it is safe and appropriate for you. Also, I've said this once and I'll say it over and over again, while creatine is the silver bullet in the world of natural muscle building supplements, it will not replace doing the right thing with your diet and workout plan on a consistent basis, so if you need any extra help with your diet or workout plan, I have everything from courses to recipe books to one-on-one -on -one coaching available. All you have to do is click the link in the description below. Now that you know the benefits and potential side effects of creatine, tell us your thoughts in the comments section, or if you have used creatine before, tell us about your experience with it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share, and stay healthy always.